The central hotel, often frequented by politicians, was hit by a car bomb and a suicide attack simultaneously. Two members of parliament and Mogadishu's deputy mayor were killed. Over 40 others, including two ministers and the deputy prime minister, were wounded. Senior government officials were at the hotel, including the deputy prime minister, government ministers, and members of parliament. Two members of parliament and the deputy mayor have been killed. The deputy prime minister, two ministers, three MPs, and other government officials were injured in the attack. And this is not the first bombing of its kind seen in Mogadishu this year. Last month, Al Shabaab militants attacked a hotel a day prior to the scheduled visit of the Turkish president to Mogadishu. Three people were killed in that bombing. Friday's assault was the second this year targeting senior government officials, and thus, despite promises of improved security, this perhaps shows Al Shabaab as a strong guerrilla force able to strike targets when and where they want. Authorities promised to strengthen security and carry out investigations into the attack. We are conducting investigations on what caused the vehicle to explode inside the hotel and how it got inside. We confirm that the vehicle detonated inside the hotel. The president and the government of Somalia strongly condemned the heinous attack. We ordered security agencies to immediately bring the attackers to book. Until now, 12 people have been arrested, two of them the managers of the hotel, and 10 were the hotel security staff, whom we suspect facilitated the entry of the car that exploded inside the hotel. The car bomb was just the start of this attack. Reports say a female suicide bomber blew herself up. The Al-Qaeda linked Al-Shabaab has carried out a spate of suicide bombings and raids in recent months. This was the most brazen this year. Mohammed Hirmogi, CCTV, Mogadishu.